Yo, 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 you're now sighted in with the Hunter Scope Podcast. Let's see what's on the scope today. Skrilla, what's the topic? Brittany Griner situation happened today, right? Mm-hmm. Right. We traded, we you traded. Know a lot of people. We traded an idiot who goes somewhere where they don't even like us. And instead of you knowing if you do something stupid over there, they're going to do the most extreme shit to you. You go over there and act like you in the U.S. and not give a fuck. You get caught doing something stupid. You did something stupid to damn self. We didn't do nothing stupid. America didn't do nothing stupid for you. You did it yourself. All right. You get caught up in there. Uh -huh. Our president decide they want to trade this idiot basketball player, this idiot basketball player, for John Wickler, brother, who already, first of all, this man, they, his nickname alone makes you not want to trade this man. You don't think this man is finna go and get weapons just to retaliate on us? Uh-oh. Nope. Mm -hmm. Are you crazy? I, I, he, you he, crazy. Was a, he was an arms dealer. Yes. You so, crazy. You don't think he's nah. going you don't so think they don't have don't, people already here? His his you don't thing, think his thing wasn't ain't gonna get smuggled in here. But his thing wasn't Listen, against America. All, the only time yeah, the only wasn't. time that gets to come into being caught. against he America is when Wait. you messing with their money. Or you mess with the, that's the only him. reason they, they mad. But Listen. to us as the, you know, as the citizens, he ain't doing nothing to us. Oh yeah, right, well, not, I mean it's a domino effect of him. But what I'm saying is in general. And that's and why I know, said you don't think listen, this man is gonna be able to. You don't think Russian people no, already have people down here. No. Why well, you crazy? Do, you don't, are you, you crazy if you don't think? Not to retaliate. Yeah, not but I, I, I don't, I don't think it's all no retaliation. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. It's not meant. Let me reword that. Ooh. It's not meant to immediately retaliate against us. Listen, hear it from my perspective. Though. <laughs> no, no. Hear it from my listen. All right. When All I right. say this, like I say, I don't care. And I feel like people that it don't matter to is putting too much energy into this shit. Too much energy. Too much energy. What it kind of energy? It doesn't affect you. What kind of it energy? It doesn't affect the energy that it doesn't affect you in no type of way, right? It don't affect nobody. And no, it doesn't affect any, no, none of the citizens other than Brittany Grimes' family. Uh, it, 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 it affects the, the, the Russian arms dealer's family and his friends. That's all this shit affects. It doesn't affect none of us. To, it's not going to make your, your rent go up tomorrow. It's not going to make your car no go up tomorrow. It's not going to make gas prices drop next week. You know, it doesn't affect us. I got a question listen, on that. All right, but listen. No, listen what you just said. I got a question on exactly what, what you what, just what, said. Just, what, 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 just, what? just keep what you finna say. So what you're saying is we are not supposed to speak on a word about nothing that doesn't affect us directly. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But you're, you're like people are putting too much energy. And it's not even good energy. It's negative energy. And I'm about to tell you why, if I can actually get to my point. And I'm going to start this off by saying, I'm saying this from a U.S., not even just a U.S. service member perspective, but a U.S. Marine perspective. And I'm about to show you why this played a big spark. And I'm also saying this from a basketball fan slash a person who plays basketball, right? And I'm going to tell you, right now, I'm not taking no sides on this. But I got a simple question. All I keep seeing on my timeline is, oh, why we traded, why why we traded Brittany McGrath, why we didn't get the, the the service members, the U.S. specifically this one U.S. Marine. Everybody keep posting about this one U.S. Marine. Why we didn't get him out? Why we didn't get him out? Mind you, he got caught in Russia for spying, right? Espionage, right? Right? All right. Now hear my point on this, and I keep seeing this. I'm like, oh, why we didn't get him out? Why we got hurt? Why we didn't get him out? First of all, my first point is, what did he get caught for? What did Russia catch him for? Why is oh, he huh? spending 16? No, she got him. The, the Marine. The Marine. Oh, I Specifically, his name is Whalen. I think his name is Whalen. What did he out. get caught for? He got caught for espionage, right? He got charged and convicted of espionage. 16 years. Everybody like, why we didn't trade for him? All right, cool. This is why I'm not taking sides on them because, you know, both of them committed illegal acts in another country. You know what I'm saying? But we're mad at Russia for detaining one of our one of our military. No, no, all right. All right. Fire. So, so. So, for my thing is, it's a, the, the America is, 
they, it's a it's a one way street, bro. We oh, can no. do shit so, to other countries, but when other facts. countries do stuff to us, it's like, wrong. It's come on, wrong. Man. It's wrong. Like you, you know grew up seeing yeah. that in the news. Yet, like you don't see it wrong. in the news today. Like we used to see it in the nineties. But boy, you used to see it. We was it's ain't wrong. nobody listening. Did, did, ain't nobody. You know but you get my point though, right? But yeah, you but get you, my you heard point, what you said. Right? That but, also goes to Britney. She went right. over there knowing that. Yeah, I understand. All right, right. so Britney. let's but let's get Britney. let's get to, let's look, get. To what the did point. I say before I even started this? I said you I was not taking sides. That's exactly. I'm not taking sides. I'm just bringing up points for that idiot. Okay, so let's. I just want. Not an idiot. She is an idiot, and I met her in real life. She's a fucking idiot. Who? She's a fucking idiot. Brittany Griner, she used to, oh. yeah, I met her when she was playing at Bella because my cousin used to play, she, uh, she used to play women's basketball for Texas with her 50 right. right. when she finished playing softball. You know what I'm saying? And I met her. is with that. I'm saying she would have set her ass over there. I don't That's what, hey, Listen. my point is, hey, I wouldn't have, that's what I'm saying. There's other people that was work, you know, trading for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doubting yes. that, but my thing is, Y'all keep bringing up on my timeline. And that's why I say it's mostly... The only reason, okay, the only reason they made that trade was because all that stuff was put on the media with like a month ago or something like that, two months ago. That she was missing. All right. Not not that she was missing, but that she was by... Uh, like she was lost in the system. And she was in one of the worst uh, jails there is in the country. Uh, the labor is hard. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 unthinkable and unimaginable things that she's going through here in, in, in this prison that she at. So, they, you know, they posted this. They had somebody say, oh, I was there at that prison, you know, giving a like like this wrenching, you know. Mind boggling details of how the prison is. And I was like, oh, yeah, when I read that, I said, oh, yeah, yeah, babe, they about to let her out. She was like, what? I said, yeah, they about to trade her off. They about to trade no, her no, off right now. I'm so I'm but telling you, I said, watch. I give them that less than five months. Now, I just told you when this happened. Y'all check, y'all check the article. Man, I, I'm going to go and find it before the end of this thing. Um, But I say I give them less than five months. They're going to trade somebody off. But they traded somebody off that had like four years left. Now, they said he had four years left, but, but Shad, you know. And I know, Tony, you know, that when the four years would have came, he would have been kept longer for some other reason <laughs> altogether. No, no, but nobody would have never known. Never. It wouldn't have been like, or, it wouldn't have been like or, public or information. The him out, or the day he was getting out, they would do, they would try to make it look like an accident. But the day he was going to get out, he was going to get murked. But, but check this out. Before today, half niggas in America didn't even know that nigga existed. Didn't. That's didn't. the crazy did. part. Y'all going crazy. I, I, did. I, did. I, did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I knew who Paul Whelan is. If I, I had knew, to jog no, my I memory. Know who I don't know. Who I know who Brittany Griner is. I know who Paul Whelan is. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Like I, I know these people. I still you know don't saying? know That's the dude. What what you call him? Baby John Wick? I don't even know who what's his name. What is his name? You see? See, the crazy part is Aldrich Ames. Is that who it is? I didn't know I didn't know anything about him who y'all talking about i never well, even, yeah i never even heard of him or nothing paul will yeah i never even he got, like he's a marine but he got caught for that's why i said yeah of course i want my brothers and sisters home who to fall for the country that's why i say i'm not taking sides you know what i'm saying but at the same time it's it's it's, it's perplexing that y'all keep bringing his name up and then y'all also be like oh we got other services well why y'all ain't bringing the other service victor about just bringing this one specific they person victor. up Say Victor sound. Hey, look, fuck all, fuck all that. Victor sound like a like like a motherfucker from Russia. You just don't fuck with. All right, Let, let's let's really let's really break oh, this nah. down for a second. Every man over there in America. Victor, yeah, I mean, every man over there. Victor, Victor. <laughs> yeah, Victor, no, Victor, I knew you shit. You, you Leave Victor alone, though. Why he old? Look, look, you Victor you walk up in there, Victor in the feds. He about about fifty. How old he is? Fifty, sixty. Still busting it out, shit. But that's the crazy thing. That's my point. Off the, like, off, the off the second bunk, he ain't on the bottom. Son, off the second bunk, straight dips. My, my point is like going y'all, over there, fucking oh, everybody, Victor, man. You notice everybody that get arrested in another country is wrongfully detained, or you wrongfully detained. But if they if that people from that country come over here and do the same thing, we lock them up, throw away the key. That shit crazy to me, bro. It's crazy. It is crazy. 
Oh, Paul Whelan was wrongfully, you know. Hey, he my hey, brother. Then, hey, say, know? then you know but our country don't, wrong, don't contact your country him, until wrong, your damn wrong. convictions are almost close. That's what I'm saying. But if you're wrong, you're wrong, bro. Hey, you got if you do the crime, you gotta do the time. I don't care who you are. You could be my brother, you could be my sister. You know what I'm saying? You now, do the crime, hey, now, time, hey, 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 you know what's funny though? You know what's funny, Shadow? But you can't I, expect I was, now I was talking to Bay earlier and I said Tony gonna be the one to say that. And it came yeah, out I'm your like, mouth. To say, exactly. what? I'm just to, to say what like, Shy just said. If you do the crime, do the time. I call. I called it on is, you though. That's, that's exactly what I said. I said I no, that's right. Too, yes, too right. But, but, but I called you saying that term. It, it came out his mouth. But you're right though. Both the other thing is like he wrong too. Like you caught for spying. We got spies from Russia over here right now, all the way from the Cold War, still locked up. You know what I'm saying? Right. KGB soldiers. They serve their country too. You know what I'm saying? They came True on this spot. We'll be there. We threw them in jail. No problem. Rightfully. In America's eyes, it was rightfully. You know what I'm saying? But right. we go over there and we spy and we get caught and not, oh, he wrongfully detained. How do that work? Listen, though. But listen. Russia is not, Russia is not an ally, bro. Like, listen. I think listen. people fail to realize that. Russia is not our ally. Today and tomorrow, that's why I'm like, when people are like, oh, he gonna get out of, he's not gonna retaliate because that's gonna start World War Three right now. One person gonna start they, war. They, they, first of all, first of all, well, but what is he gonna ta- what no, is no, no, no. You think, no. you think no, but wait, he think it's gonna be this big ass. Pe- the way people talk when people say retaliate, everybody just picture like this big ass retaliation. People just okay, be like, even oh, a small yeah, thing. This even one nigga gonna come shit. in the United States with a rocket launcher and blow some shit up. No, it ain't gonna be like that. But listen, even a small shit like. Oh, so, you know, sending the guns over here to the cells they do have over here. You don't think that's gonna start some shit? How you think 9 11 started? No, no, <laughs> them niggas sent, them niggas came over here and sell, trained, and they did what they did, and we went over there. It started a whole war. I, I feel like that. I feel like that's a whole like that. conversation. Though. I think they think about a bigger picture. This man is an arm dealer, right? You think you think everybody out here is getting weapons from the United States? These little hood niggas, these little these little niggas. You, you know, know everybody. You no, know, they, they don't have no connection like that. Them niggas to bad exactly. balls. Exactly. Exactly. But you get them. From you, the you, you heard what you just said. You just heard what you just said. They got money to buy guns from across the water. Nigga? You Come just on, heard what you just. But okay. But at the same. No, he, not at, even, he didn't even. I, but I at the same time, they got black it's market dealers. Exactly. It's right. Going, it's a pyramid. Yeah. Okay. So like, he's getting that. these guns from a higher power. You think a right. nigga go? A nigga in Chicago right. got a fucking rocket launcher. Who do you think he got you, it from? But listen. Who but the listen. Fuck you think he got? It? Answer that question. Listen. Listen. Who oh no. Got a I wanna. From? I I wanna speak on that because I think a lot of people that that's been misconstrued. That nigga Ronda number nine. That shit been misconstrued for years. Listen, I know what you're talking about. That's all right. Fake. That shit been misconstrued. All the niggas. That shit been misconstrued for years. I'm about to tell you why. Misconstrued. Because Let's go. that same, that same AT4, AT4 rocket they have. Wink, wink. I got that same one in my room. Where did I get it from? Oh yeah, I'm not with this nigga. I don't listen, know. I listen. I'm I ain't this. Guess what? None of this but shit he what? talking I'm about right now. La 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 la. No, 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 it's not even like that. It's not even like that. It's not even like that. <laughs> he over here about to give it's up his arms real. dealer real quick. It's not even real. It's oh, not right, even real. All right, all right. You said that part. You know what we use that for? You know what we use that for? Yeah. I'm glad you said that. Training purposes only. Gotcha. Got you. Blue on blue practice, nigga. It's a prop. And where you got it from? But like, all right. But listen, to, what? Where you got it from? I'm not gonna know. Like, where you I ain't got from? no AT4, but I, I heard. Ah, uh, have I shot one? But but I thought you said you had one in the closet. Huh? Didn't you just say, say you had one in the closet? Hey, didn't that man mm-hmm. say he had one in the closet? I don't know. I ain't no rat. I don't know. Man, <laughs> I know you lied. Is this how y'all gonna do? So this <laughs> this no how rat. we doing it know. right now. I I thought he. I thought I heard him say he got an ATV. That's what I thought I heard him a- say. So he got it. So, so he got an ATV. <laughs> that what yeah, I heard, bro. Got I got a Kawasaki. I, heard. I got a Kawasaki three hundred. Kawasaki mm-hmm. three hundred. Yeah. Huh? You don't want to see pictures of it? <laughs> it's green. It's up in Mississippi right now at the Dick Camp. Mm-hmm. Kawasaki three hundred. Yeah. That's, that's what I can tell mean. you the address where it's located. Okay, let's close this conversation. We're gonna come back to this Britney Griner shit. Did yeah, y'all yeah, hear yeah. Kanye new song? No, 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 Did wait, wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I heard Kanye snippets, 
I, I heard I heard snippets. Kanye yeah. is going back to the old Ye. And I, I everybody encountered him. I'll everybody people gonna be like, oh, I ain't listening to that shit because the shit he said already. Right. I didn't hear people say worse shit and people still support that. Mm, 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 mm. But that Ye, that new hey. song Ye, he sound like he back to his old self in the music. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that because I heard something today on a TikTok live and it made so much sense. So, what do people say? Kanye said that, and I'm going to say, quote unquote, he said that the Jews need to get over what Hitler did, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But somebody brought up the point and it made so much sense. I don't think nobody ever thought of this or looked at it from this perspective, right? Kanye wasn't siding with Hitler or what he was doing. Kanye said that because Kanye's smart. Kanye's smarter than what we think he is. You know what I'm saying? Listen. Get over it just like they tell us to get over slavery. Exactly. My point. Exactly. Oh, it Kanye happened many smart. years ago. It, it, takes, years ago. it takes somebody with, with who, who has an open mind. Mm. It takes somebody who's actually not just one sided, but looks at the world from different perspectives to understand what Kanye did when he said that. All right. So there was also what something else. Telling us? Is I didn't want to talk about Kanye, man. And guess cause... what? No, but listen, I know, but I just want to say he just he just Kanye, giving Kanye. he just giving those people that that keep telling us that he just giving them a taste of their own medicine. I That's all he's about doing. Kanye. Everybody's like, oh, we don't want to talk. I'm gonna talk about Kanye. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna talk, talk about, about Kanye. Too. All right. I'm I'm, some of the shit Kanye say is mm-hmm. just over the top, but some of the shit he say, it flicks. It, it, it makes sense to people who actually think. All right. Kanye did what he did to get out of his deals, yeah, of course. But Kanye didn't expect he didn't expect it to go as far as it went. He, he knew it was gonna get him out of left. Yeah, he knew it was gonna get him out of some fucked up deals. But he's like, you know what? Since it's getting me this much attention, let me keep hey. going with it. Let me let me keep going until this ship sinks. Just like the um, who who Van Jones? I see y'all that, y'all uh, y'all, Mark, I mean, y'all heard Van Jones nope. say he apologizing on behalf of black folk, the black community or whatever, because we nope. just let it go on and we didn't say nothing about that. Nope. We just nope. let Kanye, we let a black icon get in the media and just bash Jewish people, and he tried to he bash apologize him. for us. All right, Sam, so wait, we've been wait, I cannot stop people. you for a second. Just I, hold it. All right, hold it. I just want to, I just want to stop you for a second. So we're in a barber shop the other day, and my barber like brought up a big point. What, what's a Jew? I just, I just want to know. That was a question, or that was yeah. I, what, what's a Jew? But that's crazy because. Um... It's those people, people at, with the little S curl on the side. Wait. No, people look at Jews like that. that's a that's, that's a race. That is a religion, bro. No. Exactly. What's a Jew though? That is a religion. I don't know why people keep looking at Jewish people like they're a race. They're a religion. Yeah, that's the people with the S curls on the side. And I think people don't realize that. Like, they're with not the a race. Curl. They're not black. I mean, they're not African. They're not. Yeah, that is a straw curl, man. I know a straw curl. American. They what? Jewish, they they Jewish are just like Baptist people, they're like Catholic people. Yeah. They're not a race. They're, they're a races of Jewish people. Yeah, and 90% of the world don't realize that. So, I think 90% of the world fail to realize So what if I what if I told y'all, what if I told y'all that on the Jews, like there's a there's an expiration date, like saying that they, they stop existing at some point in time. And, and and then another question, another question is, uh, do y'all know do y'all know what somatic is? Like, cause they keep talking about you know being anti-somatic and whatnot. Anti-somatic. But, yeah, but what is somatic? Yeah, they keep saying they they, they like say all of a sudden, all of a sudden they just started talking about it. Nobody really heard about it much before Kanye did what he did. Before Ye did what he did, nobody was saying nothing about being anti-Semitic. Everything was about bigotry and what was going mm-hmm. on with Trump and white privilege and light skin privilege and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what people all... don't understand is let me let me let me let me take it back off what you just said. It's like it's um it's basically a prejudice 
I don't even hear you. Basically, a prejudice, uh, like a hatred, basically. Mm-hmm. When they say anti-Semitic, they, they, they think you prejudice against this certain thing. Oh, you just got fucking hatred for this certain thing. But that's, yeah, but the only thing it can be is, you know, Jewish people, oh, because that's the only somatic no, people there are. It's, Jews it's, are somatic. It's not being racist, because they can't say racist. That's why, said, that's why he said, that's why he said prejudice. Not a race, yeah. But that's yeah, I say prejudice or hatred. I didn't say racist, so I said hatred. Not, right. That's how somatic thing is, you being prejudiced toward a belief. That's the definition. You're being pregnant for not hey that's that's actually a legit that's actually a legit you know a response i, I can i can kind of take it. you're breaking up we need we need better yeah if you go out here to, today or tomorrow and bash blt uh whatever that shit called tacos lettuce and tomatoes or whatever the fuck they are oh oh you talk oh you talking about the, <laughs> the yeah. talking about the sound oh no, he talk, he talk about that community. I'm not gonna speak bad about them because they they you can't even have a discussion about them without them bashing. So I don't LGBTQ plus. Yeah, I I avoid them. I stay away from topics on them. Because... So that's 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 funny because that's actually one of the topics we are gonna talk about today. That's this that's kind of hilarious. Actually, why I stay away from topics like that? I stay away from I'm topics saying, like listen. that because when you go to have an actual conversation with them. They automatically go into defensive mode. They don't want to have an actual conversation. They just yep. go straight into, defensive, straight into defensive mode. If you don't agree with something that they say, all of a sudden you homophobic, you this, you that. That's why and I avoid anti-Semitic. that topic or I avoid having conversations. You can't with be them anti-Semitic they though because they're not Jewish. They don't know how to. They don't know how to sit there and hold the actual conversation without getting right. offended by stuff. But my point is, that's not whole thing. That's not true. I just feel like that is, was just, that is true. Most of them are. Somewhere like, in that no. conversation, no, no, I'm about to tell you what's going to happen. Somewhere throughout that conversation, when you disagree <laughs> with something, they automatically label you as homophobic. They don't know how to have a, a, a conversation and accept your point of view and you accept their point of view oh, and y'all leave funny. with a different understanding for things. But You're not saying so. Oh, so yeah, listen, I can't. I, I can't agree. I can't. I can't agree because I've had conversations with a lot of uh people of the LGBTQ plus community, and all all I'm saying is, all right, is that I've disagreed like face to face with some of them, and like it didn't turn bad. They didn't like stop talking to me. It wasn't you know, oh, he's homophobic or none of that because I was still no, cool. You a person? That's your choice. At the was same time. Was it an old one? Yeah, it was an old one. Exactly. My point exactly. <laughs> My point exactly. <laughs> but it was an old one. It was an old one. Tell me what you say because the older, the older crowd, the older LGBTQ crowd mature. They understand that, you know, not everybody is against them, but not everybody is going to agree with, you know, so, what they got going on. So do you think that that could be something that the younger community you know of of that community a younger thing you know that they can take on some some wisdom that they can learn from to be able to interact with everybody you know all around yes because it's just like it's just like to me to me i i think i think you know in our community they fun is and cool as hell some i'm crazy now you know some i'm throw it off but it's mostly the women it'd be mostly the women problem with them at all like i don't i'm one of those people who can hang with anybody i don't give a fuck with nobody I don't give a fuck when nobody thinking of me. I can hang out. I can go. We could go bowling right. or some shit. We could go exactly. kick it. Like we exactly. Can, we go exactly. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Exactly. I don't care what nobody is or what nobody like. What they eat don't make me. Just like exactly. everybody say, what they eat don't make me shit. Just because you like a certain thing, that not go color my fucking page. Right. I'm not go fucking. So, just because so, I don't like what you say, ain't gonna affect my bank account. So both of y'all, don't freak out though. All right. So listen. Say uh say you're in a group and you know there's um there's some gals, there's some guys, all right? And y'all all intermingle with now y'all cool and shit like that, but you over here the girls, one of y'all over here the girls saying something about one of the dudes in y'all group. And the thing was, he said 
Now take take this on for yourselves, but he said that yeah, he he he'll suck your dick. I mean, how would you feel about this dude still hanging in your group after a comment like that? Wait, he uh, he uh, he uh, suck. I don't think a she will suck. Her dick. Like this man, no, <laughs> black he, man, he, he, when he asked that question, he put his finger over his lip and started busting out laughing. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna I'm keep it. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a stack. You cannot control how other people feel about you, but what you can do, you can pull this man to the side and tell this man, "Hey, I don't swing like that. You know, ain't none of that. So keep those, keep all that shit to yourself. Keep that. I don't want to say keep that gay shit over there because it make it sound rude and disrespectful, but why, keep that gay shit over why, there. Why? Why you laughing? Why you laughing? Make you sound anti-Semitic when you say that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, keep that, keep that over there, bro. Don't, don't do it. Like, you're gonna tell them, look, bro, don't do that. Cause you know we don't like the same thing. Don't be, don't be doing that. I feel the same way. If it ain't but my then girl, again, you can't control, you can't control how somebody else feel about you. Right. Like, keep your feelings to yourself. Uh, hey. You feel that way? You feel well, that way? I'm embarrass him in front of everybody. I like pull dude to the side and be like, you know. Whoop de whoop says you said this. Nah, nah, with all that. Nah. Oh, stay, now, what if he, uh. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, that is true. She what, what? A... If you don't address it, if you don't address it, it's going to keep going. If you don't just nip it in the butt from there, it's going to keep going. Yeah, because so the next step is if, if when you, you walk him by that, and he's going to grab your ass talking about good game. But listen to this, though. It's going to be the next gonna... step. I'm about to feed off of her point. She said. What are you addressing? Because if, if it wasn't addressed to you, if it wasn't told to you, what if, what if he didn't want nobody to know he said that? What, what, person what, if, he said, said, what if he said he your name specifically? In a group, but what, what if he in said group. your name specifically? But I'm saying, what if he confided into somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, that hey, don't matter. Yeah, cool. I, I mean, you want to I, I get what you're saying, but then? still, just because he confided in him doesn't stop him, like you said, from thinking about it. Group. We're all in the friend. He, he explained it. We're all in the friend group. Don't tell somebody something about somebody that's in the group and expect it not to get to somebody in the group because you don't know who's cool, with who's who? real close with who in the group. It's true. Because you don't want to have somebody come around and then you slick side doing like little little funny shit and you know niggas not paying no mind to it. You doing like slick shit and like little joking shit and we don't know that you're doing this. Yep. But the whole time you going around doing this little slick flirting type shit, and you just think we supposed to just be like, oh no, nah, let that shit go. And you and he lusted, and he over there lusted. Yep. You got to be careful with stuff like that, man. I'm telling you, you never know who. Just who. like, just like, just like I, I, re said. I respect the openly, I respect that an openly gay person before a down low. Oh, we playing football, and nigga, smack you on your ass talking about tighten up. Hey niggas, I'm on y'all side. Bring her into this shit. Just, he said, she said, directly said to you. No, let, let, let her speak. I, it's, put on. Let, let, I, I'd like to get another point of view there. Let, let's hear it. You yeah. don't want to start something or make somebody feel uncomfortable because whenever whoever they said it to, until it's directly said to you, right? Until it's directly said to you, that's when you go and handle it. Other than that, it's he said, she said. Mm -hmm. You really don't know. Right. So, so you feel like, so you feel like, if we went to that person after we would, you know, after we heard what we heard, and we directly, you know, confronted the person on that, we're wrong because we it wasn't directed towards us or towards the individual. Said, I'm not saying it's wrong per se, but since it was not said to you, you know, like okay, like I just so just let it me. roll off my shoulder. Until it's directly said to you. But that's like with anything, though. That's like, okay, if I tell him, hey, babe, I think she's cute. No matter what group we in, I can be like, oh, I think she's cute. That's not for him to go and tell her. That's, that's a, on a whole different scale. That's honestly on a whole different scale. I'm not even going to lie to you not, like that. That's I mean, no, oh, that's, like, I, I get the point. The day, I get the point together. she's trying to make. We're all hanging together. Yeah, I get where she's coming from. But I'm saying, we all hanging together as a group. Those do stuff. Like, we go play basketball some shit. We go play football some shit. We go play, like, 
we do contact sports and shit. Whole time we playing football and shit, we tackling each other. We don't think nothing of it. This man out there tackling niggas, copping fields and shit. It's a whole different <laughs> level. It's a whole different level. So that's gonna be steady sitting in your mind. If you don't address it, that's gonna st- be steady sitting in your mind. This dude tackling you when you get up too slow. Now you sit. Now you feel played. This nigga get up too slow. He rub your leg. Now you feel played. Cause you already. This cause you already never been said, said. Cause you never said anything about. It. Yeah, cause this has already been said. So. What if she be like, go back and tell him, oh, I told him what you said, and he ain't say nothing about it. So now nigga just feel like, oh, shit. Oh, he, he gone ain't with the move. Now he, he gone with the move. I feel like I going to skate on it, because anybody would have addressed it. He could just, he going to skate on it. Every time. I would say, Every time he going to get his feel. Well, let me say it like this, then. It all depends on the group, the people, or whatever, right? It all, it all depends, because everybody's different. You know who you hanging with, right? This and the fourth. I feel like it all depends on <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> it all depends on uh um what was I trying to say? <laughs> See, you only the, the crazy part about that is you only truly know your day ones. All these friends you make after your day ones. You don't really truly know them. You didn't grow up with these people, so you don't truly know them. You just know of them. That's yeah. how I feel about new people who walk into my life. I don't know you. I know of you. It's up to you to reveal to me who you really are. Just like me and Shaw. We grew up together, so we know each other. We so, know each other. So would that make me, nigga? I, I met him on a... He was on no, a call. We lived in the same house, so we knew each other. We, all we, right, all right. I take that. We, we <laughs> know, know each other. <laughs> we didn't... We we gone up some years, by the way. Yeah, we we we, <laughs> we lived over in the decade. same house. We lived under the same roof, so we know know each other. This I, I'm talking about people who you know you you oh, meet and at you make work, friends uh, with. right? Yeah, like at and y'all club. just hanging around, y'all getting drinks and okay. stuff like y'all just in the drink group like corner stuff. I would be aware of it, but unless and then if it's said again, then I'll probably address. But look at it from this thing. Look at it from this perspective. But I'm a dude. I'm a girl, so I mean. But look at it from this perspective. All right. What if he said that to somebody, but he's like, you know, you know how you say, hey, like you got niggas that be like, oh, that girl fine as shit. I'm going to ask her out, but they never go ask her out. They never have no but intentions. That's, but that's out. a girl, though. That's different. different. That's on a different level. That's flip, different. Flip it, flip it, flip it. Flip it. What if, what I if can't I said, flip it. <laughs> but I'm listening. He'll say he'll suck your dick, but he'll never ask the dude or act on it. That hurt my heart. Him say that just now. Hey, hey, wait. wait. Not me, but Wait, I get what you say. <laughs> what you just said is, but think about it like this. Think about it like this. All right. What you just said, he he he. If he thought about it, but he won't act on it, that means that thought is in his head. That means it's sitting. There. <laughs> no, yeah. Once once you get a thought, once you get a thought in your head, that thought's in your head, and then you know what I'm saying. Eventually, you'll start like acting on that yeah, thought because you constantly, constantly thinking about. About it. You gonna act on that thought. Yes, you start to like little small. Every chance they get. I mean, it's like it's like when you with a, it's like when you see a woman you like and you think she cute. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna keep trying to you know throw your little weight. You know any type of way. You know shoot your shot with a little. Talk here and there, a little flirt there and there. Then next day, you know, you touching a hand to see how far you can go. And then boom, y'all in the doggone freezer or the refrigerator because they get it in. You know, man, listen, if y'all only know what goes on, the Popeyes freeze. Look, another story, another time. <laughs> um, <that's laughs> I mean, I know I've made comments like that towards about other women, and it ain't never been repeated. If I be like, damn, she fine as fuck. Like, I, I'll turn her out right the fuck now. She gave me the chance. What she but know now? What's her name? <laughs> it don't. It's being a person I'm having a conversation with. Oh, well, we, I thought me and you was having a conversation, so we are let, you know, you was going to tell me her name, so I know you talk about So I can go see for myself. I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Well, what's, her, what's her IG name? <laughs> <laughs> I just try to see. Came back in on this conversation here, and it's 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 pretty crazy, you know. My my reaction was what the fuck, you know. And I I don't know what to say about it, but I don't know. I don't know how to even respond to that situation. So, what do you guys? What do you guys' uh opinion on that? Like, what do you guys say? You know, with me just coming in here. 
that man needed to go over there and check that dude. See, like, what's the deal? Why not check him, but, you know, confront him and have some type of a sidebar conversation like, you know. How, so I respect you I should... respect you feel like that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I also, you know, wish and hope that you wouldn't, like, spread stuff around like this within the group or with anybody, you know what I'm saying? And I, I can't tell you how to think or how to feel, but, like, you know, keep that shit on your side of the fence. See, and, and I was going to ask that question. I was going to ask, you know, how would you approach the situation? What about you, Dark Mass? How would you approach the situation? I already said how I approach it. I go and uh, talk. I pull up dude to the side, like you know. I can, you know, you can't be mad at somebody for how they feel towards you, but you also gotta let them know you ain't on that type of time that they on. Definitely, agree. And what about you, OTK? How would you feel about that? Hey, you know, uh, because I mean, from different perspective, different situations, different people. You know, it might be different because. Like I said earlier, like how many times you said you was gonna do something with somebody and never attempted or had no on you? I actually forgot about it. But at the same time, I'm on you. I'm tired with y'all. You know, you gotta look at it from different perspectives. Also, like I could have, like you could said that, but like never acted on it. Never have no on acting on it. The fantasy he having that's going that he planned on remaining. You see what words you just used? You never okay. know. Okay. I, you just use the F word. The what? He just used the F word. He said some type of fantasy. Okay. And he what? said, but he ain't had no intention on acting on it. Him having that fantasy alone is going to make him feel comfortable enough to even try to do like little slick shit. So you know how many people have a fantasy and they be like they wish it'd be reality? The times I said I fuck the shit out of be Simone, but I never slid in her DMs. I mean, what's I've never, never, I've never, you know, what's that? You yeah, gotta so catch, let me, yeah, you gotta catch, question. You gotta catch on bath day. Well, here's the question: If you had a chance, would you take it? If I had a chance, yeah. So now we talking about <laughs> look up. Now we talking about if we had the chance. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you had a chance, would you? Because yeah. think about this. Think about it. If that guy, if, if that guy, whoever it was, had that chance to come approach you about that fantasy, he, he would might. take it. He if just you might. Fuck with Lit, her name, you would just take it? Oh, uh, you're talking about. You had the chance to. But I mean. Talking about Braylon? I, I would react to the situation as, you know, I, I, would, I would have to shut it down like ASAP. I'll go up to him, talk to him, I'll say, hey. You, you can like I'll tell him like you can feel how you feel, but you can't be telling somebody else because you know here. birds birds speak birds chirp, right? It's like wolves. Wolves howl, right? One wolf howl, then the rest of the wolves howl. You see what I mean? Everybody gonna hear the wolves. I was who? I was who? That's what, uh, my bad. I thought animal sounds. My fault. Uh, but uh, but that's that's what I'm saying. Like people are wolves. So just like you hear one 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 wolf howling. Everyone else howl, right? <clears throat> so when everybody's howling, you see what I mean? Like, you can't have that. You gotta stop that. So listen, everybody, everybody gonna start getting, you know, thinking you sus because this man made a, a, a like a, you know, a statement, and you know he's gonna try to act on that, something like that, or putting images or you know ideas in this man's mind. Like, hey, y'all heard this? Y'all heard this? Y'all heard this? And if they one person talk, a whole bunch of so by the time it reached back to you, you or that person, it's gonna be a hundred different stories. You know, somebody's gonna add something in there. Oh yeah, you know this man. Yeah, that's, I mean, say he exactly. wants to this. <clears throat> that's always. Yeah, you know that's that that that's just something to, to, to think about. So you gotta shut that down before you even get to that point. True. That's how it got to you. It already got to that point. Is she yeah. going? Is she going crazy in this background? Y'all, y'all, y'all hit the nerve. I, we ain't do anything. Yeah. All this assumption. You're assuming that. You can't just assume that. And you just made my point valid. You literally just made my point valid. If he did not directly say it to you, he's you just that's he said, she said. Somebody could have just added to it or whatever the case might be. So until then until he directly says it to you, what the fuck? 
For people to add stuff to something, they have to have an original for them to add to it. Take it that far with you. You cannot assume that about everybody. So there was an original, just like you said. You said that he said she said, but then there's an original. You have to have an original saying for somebody to add something to it. And that is a true point. That yeah, is but that's just point. that's just like saying in every story, eighty in every lie, twenty percent of that that's, lie is true. And that kind of makes Tony your point. That makes your point. You know what you said? No, because she did just make a point on your point. She was like, just like you said, you been me and you been knowing each other. We day one. You know me. I know you. You know what I'm saying? So if we're in that friend group and we know each other. Then I, if that person should know, he can't take it that far with you. He could, he has to keep it in his head. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing he can act on because if that's your true friend, then he know he can't act on that. He knows but then again, knows but then again, but then again, this wasn't this wasn't a true friend circle. This was just a circle of people that we hang together. Right. This right. ain't day one. That's why right. I say earlier. That's why I say earlier. I say from day one, you only I'm... truly know your day one. All right, but that's why I said God speaker has to clarify. Is it just a group of like a circle of friends, or this is a circle like, like yeah, all right? No, that's what I said. I was like, yeah, you know, we just it's just a group of people that you know and y'all hanging out. All right, so it's just like okay, friends and associates. Yeah, right. Y'all actually know each other. You know, know it's each. friends of friends and stuff like that. Fall with me. You can't go nowhere with me. There is no chance. That means I automatically already know that you are gay. I already know that stuff about you. Okay, you can't go there with me. You can say it and you can think it. It does not necessarily mean it's an actual fantasy, but you know there's no chance. But all that other stuff, people like, see oh, a lot of shit all the time that they don't have no chance of doing. That's an assumption. That is an assumption. You cannot assume that about everybody. Until he directly says it to you, then you can say something about it. All that other shit is bullshit. It's so a you, fucking assumption. So you can't assume that everybody would act on it if they had the chance. Is that what you're saying? Assume that. Me as a person, I don't give a fuck what you think somebody can act on. I don't give a fuck about none of that. If you said it, I'm going to go ahead. So, so basically you're going to basically goes anywhere else before you before you no, even no. feel like you can so do wait. anything, I'm going to pull you to the side and have a one-on-one. I'm not doing this in front of everybody. So basically I'm the Medea clause comes into play. Feel no type of play. I'm pulling people to the side and I'm having a one-on-one conversation and I'm going to ask you, okay. did you say this? I'm not going to automatically come at your neck and be like, look, bro, don't fucking say that. No, I'm going to ask you, did you say that? And if you if you're a real person, you're going to stand on what you said. Oh, you did not say that from the beginning. You did not say that you was going to ask. You said you, you that's not what you said. Oh, I didn't say I was going to pull him to the side and have one on one. Did, hey, hey, I yeah, just you did. Point out, hey, yeah, I, my point exactly. My I, point I, exactly. I wasn't even the one who said all the extra words. So you directing that energy to the wrong person. Did you? That's who I'm talking You about. said it to the wrong person. Directly. We talking about. I'm directly. I'm talking to him. <laughs> So you just person, attacked me. I'm not talking to three. I am directly talking to the group. You talked to the person who said it. Because your energy, the way you gave off your energy as towards we, you we was going towards the one Tony, who was Tony, we can't off. hear. Tony, we can't hear. Right? We can hear again. I just want to say this is a friendly debate. Ain't no... This uh, no. no, everybody yeah, you know what's up. You know, you know me. You know. No, I don't, no, don't want to, you know. Nah, man, man, look, you, look, you just, know me better listen, than that. Listen, I'm gonna edit that out. This is what they like. Come on. Every day, so let's go. Cool. <laughs> Every day. Told now, y'all get back to the argument. You owed it. Mm-hmm. I no, it get that back shit. to the argument. The funny part is, the whole time that energy is coming to me, this nigga quiet as hell when he the one who said it. Who? That bald head nigga in the corner. No, I'm <laughs> trying to. I'm trying to hear what she said, but you sitting here doing all this. I'm going back and forth with her. What you mean? Yeah, but, yeah, but I'm, I, I'm trying to see, like, what's the point she's trying to make? The, the you point, said the point all she, it. He said, the point he said shit. When point you said it. that, she went spicy Wait, in the again. background. Say again, what happened? Dre, Dre, she about to explain her whole point. She about to simplify her words. All right, so, so go ahead and say. All I was saying was, all the other stuff that you was talking, <clears throat> it was an assumption. You cannot assume that somebody uh, uh, wants to 
whatever. What the fuck you want? What you want? You, so you, you were saying say something energy about fantasy. You gave me. You better give it to this nigga. No, 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 no. Get in the, the camera. Bring all that nigga. Yeah, she gave nigga. all the energy already. It's gone. Bring, no, fuck that. bring that energy back. Punch the screen. Go to this nigga. Get that nigga the same energy you gave me. Fuck that. Don't get on here talking sophisticated to this bald head motherfucker over here. A tie. A tie, bro. A tie, bro. A tie. A table. Throw a pillow at the phone. Do something. A tie, bro. All right. all right, so so listen. Speaking of energy and stuff like that, man, y'all, what y'all think about all that energy they putting into Deion Sanders? Wait, what you talking about? Like, like him switching, like him thinking about leaving JSU. Oh, JSU. What? I knew that was gonna happen. But but why though? Because he was to me, he was just building up a coaching resume to go bigger. True but enough. then again, you can't really fault him because it was games where this man out there they playing their ass off he come back to the uh locker room and all this shit stolen and he's and, putting all this energy into a fucking place and they not giving him the same type of respect and energy back so why right, stay so, why stay in the spot like that or, or, so, so or, me, or the, or the right revenue now. that he that he's old you know what i'm saying due to his experience now you know what i'm saying like to where so, he's at give me the rundown because I, I don't know about this topic Deion sanders was coaching a team in mississippi Okay. He brought them all type of he brought them all type of looks, all type of money into their community, all type of money into the school. He brought a team and a team doing damn good. When he they won two what they won two championships back to back, right? Ooh, what's he top? Deion Deion. He did all of that. And the same people he out there busting his ass for wasn't showing him the same type of respect. This man come back from a game, niggas didn't stole his watches, nigga didn't stole his credit cards. Nigga didn't did all this for a team that he brought back to life, basically. He got the school funding they needed. He got them fields and shit, practice areas and all that. So now everybody mad because he left. He took a better job, a better coaching job in Colorado. I mean... I'm 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 not mad he he went on by his business either. Look what they done to him. Like, yeah, if, so, if like but why why man, why do you why do you feel like they're putting so much energy though in, into into his transition or to, into his thought about transitioning to a, you know, they, to a different school? I'm about to tell you why they putting that type of energy into it. Because why does it matter? Anytime somebody go into a black community, a HBCU, mm. and make a difference. Mm. They expect him, no matter what the fuck type of energy he get back, he's supposed to stay there. That is that is the mindset of black people. Like putting... Black people are the ones that's pissed off that he left. You don't see no white person talking about, oh, I'm mad Dion left. No. So Of course, there ain't no white kids up in there stealing out his fucking locker either. Ain't no white kids stealing his credit cards or his Rolexes and shit. So do you feel like he, he should stay stay within the community? No. Do you feel like that? No, I feel like he needs to, if he going to stay somewhere, give out, stay somewhere that's going to give you the same energy you put out. What if they only putting out the energy they can afford to put out? What if they can't, what if they can't, you know, emit more It ain't even, a, it ain't even money wise. No, I'm, that's why I said it. But see, I didn't say anything about finances. That's why I'm saying see, exactly, the same, en- emit the same energy into him exactly, that he's emitting finances. into the school. You don't need finances. To put out energy. Mm. That's like saying I can't give you good vibes because I'm broke. <laughs> no, you don't need that. Say some you of the bro- some that. of the brokest people or some of the poorest or poverty people give the best vibes, bro. They know how to have exactly. fun. So you saying. don't need you I used don't to be need one. to give that type of energy. You don't need it. The problem is, like like I like that example I gave. The man has a, they won the game. The man gotta go into an interview. And the first thing he said in the interview is, yeah, I'm pissed off. The kids went out there and played great. But there's no reason why I have to come back to the coach's locker room and my shit missing. He said but, that just took all the, all the good energy I had, that just took it away. But you know what else is crazy? That's not the only thing that contributed to that. That same day he did that interview, they, there was a Dodge Challenger and they found a body on campus. On campus. In the, in the trunk of a Dodge. A dude was shot. In his car, a student, and that's why he was. Is uh, he when he spoke about the crime in the area, it was like he didn't say there wasn't no crime. It was just like <laughs> on a good day, you know, I could take my family. But, but wait, 
but, shit, like they was breaking in his car, his children cars. Like that's wild. Y'all doing this to a person that's bringing the the looks y'all need, that's bringing the money y'all need, that's getting y'all, you know, known worldwide. Y'all take somebody who's giving y'all this platform, and you gonna fuck over them? But listen, I'm about to list out all the shit Dion did, and they still ungrateful. Dion came, he he, he struck up a million, but uh, got got them brand so they didn't have to wear the same fucking jersey uniform every fucking Saturday. You know what I'm saying? He paid for them a new field. He had a new life. Field. He had all this out of his pocket. But wait, he also had celebrities donating millions to him and to, the, to the cause and everything. Diddy was donating, everybody was donating millions to his cause. And then on top of that, not only did he get a better job and a better conference, He's taking those same. It's not like he just turned his back and closed the door on players at Jackson State. He's telling them, "I'm bringing." He bring. He's bringing his players with him. Plus, he's bringing players from from Jackson State, giving them a better opportunity. A bigger yeah, he's not bringing all of them though. You know, all, he's bringing the ones that worth it. You know, we we know 100 percent he was bringing his son. We already knew he was gonna be the quarterback. But you telling me this man is willing to bring me from a swag school, a HBCU? To bring me on a bigger stage, you know what I'm saying? To compete with a bigger yeah, company, do. And yeah. see a better opportunity to further my athleticism throughout my career. Because <laughs> half of the people, how many people you know getting drafted out of Jackson State, getting drafted out of HBCUs and stuff like that? Very slim. They only go into the powerhouses. So for this man to get a job at a powerhouse and pretty much open a door for y'all and tell y'all to hop in the transfer portal, it ain't guaranteed to get signed, but most likely y'all can get signed. That's that's. No, they don't get signed. Coming from Jackson State, they gonna get signed. But that's what I'm like. That's that's, that's yeah. like that's a no-brainer. But, but you telling me this man is bringing your child to a better school that's giving him a better opportunity at playing in the NFL, giving him a better opportunity to getting getting seen. Because how many Jackson State games we got on TV, nigga? I don't see a single Jackson State game on my TV. The parents of those kids are they not the ones getting mad? It's these outside <laughs> motherfuckers that's that are even even with the college. It was motherfuckers that ain't got an athletic bone in their body out there being mad. But you know what else somebody bring a point to when they were speaking on it? And I got also got this off of a TikTok line. There was like, you got somebody who don't have no connection to Jackson State, came into Jackson State, donating all of this money, doing all of these upgrades. And you got alumni, the people that's complaining, the alumni. Don't do shit. And they you went won't back. even donate, that won't even do nothing. They literally went back and looked at the audit, and only like five percent of the alumni actually donates to Jackson State. Exactly. But yeah, yeah I, I heard that. the same numbers. Where y'all at? Y'all doing all this talking, but how much did y'all contribute to this? He said that too. He said y'all don't even visit the school. Y'all got y'all little degrees and y'all left. Man. Oh, but, Jackson but, State did. Jackson but it's State. a trending topic. How much though? Do you contribute to Jackson State. How much do you get? It's a trending to Jackson State. Wait, what? I I didn't you give anything. Have no connection to Jackson State other than his sons, you know, that contribute millions, having other people contribute millions, having his friends contribute millions, and y'all can't even contribute five dollars. But is Jackson, Jackson State that? That's what he said. It's crazy, man. That's exactly what he said. It's crazy. Well, I don't know, you know. People will never be satisfied, man. They'll never be satisfied. I think what I knew, once I knew he got on at Jackson State, I knew he was only doing that to build his resume. But right. he was, in my mind, I think he would have stayed there a little longer if it wasn't for the series of events that was happening to him while he was still yeah. there. That's he would have stayed longer. But the ultimate goal was to build his resume to go into a bigger conference. To I where, just, I, I'm sorry. I just like and the then it's crazy information because... I said earlier. I was wrong. But yeah, go ahead. You're low. You're low. I can't, I can't. But you said I'm low. But to to add the further add on to that, you got other swag coaches, head coaches saying, "Oh, he's not swag. I'm swag. He's not swag." All right, you're swag, but how much have you actually contributed to swag? How much have you contributed to the school you coach at? How much of your coaching paycheck that goes out? How much you take that and give it back? Put it back to the school. Bet I ain't low no more. That man, that 
that man she went out there and not only not only about the money and stuff, he turned them kids into winners. Exactly. Them kids going through sweeping seasons. <laughs> Eleven and zero, perfect season. Jackson said he never did that shit. Exactly, going through winning their championships and shit. Like he went through and made a difference. So now, just like he told them, just like I watched his interviews in Colorado, he told them, "Yeah, some of y'all here, some of y'all that's here on the team don't deserve to be here." Yeah, he told them. He was like, said, y'all yeah, I'm a, hey. "Exactly." He said, "Y'all might as well hit the transfer portal." Just like the quarterback, that boy hit the portal. That boy, he knew he wasn't going. He knew he wasn't going to start. He said, "Well, let me go somewhere where I know I'm gonna play it." Come on, you got you got Deion son. Ball yeah, that's why he went. He said, but you know say, what? But he, say you know, he bringing players. He's bringing players with him. Yeah, from, he, he he also bringing from, other players in from and, other right. And he already to sign somebody. Stop soon. The a wide receiver from Florida. They got uh, they got people from uh, Bama seven, hit the transfer portal. No, no, people Bama. hitting this portal. Starters, all the starters from Bama is literally going to Colorado like, now. Yeah. And I think, but wait, those 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 Bama people that hit the transfer portal. They wasn't the crazy part was most of them wasn't starters. They was five star recruits that that he just didn't let them. They didn't play a snap. It's five star recruits that didn't play a snap. So they like you know I'm wasting my talents being a five star recruit sitting on the bench at Bama because the way the Bama play the way Bama play they'll have their starting lineup and he'll stick with that shit. And yeah. then once they once they go to NFL, the very next fucking people the, the very next. That's why he always got a good team. He over recruit, so he'll have people that's ready just in case somebody get hurt. He'll have five star recruits ready to fill in. But still, why put so much energy into like why 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 flood why flood social media with with disgust and disdain about something that has nothing to do with you? What that's what social media nowadays has come to. Like succubus. Social media now is not for social media now wasn't what it was created to be. It was created to have a voice, but now everybody got a voice, but their voice now is just t- tearing people down. It's watered down. I, I mean, a lot of the shit is is is, is it's just negative. It has no substance. Uh, I'm gonna have to get up out of here. I got some business to handle.